Why am I here? Because you're there. Whether you join in after the thing is recorded or whether it's live, it's just got to be live because right now, spiritual warfare has never been higher in my lifetime. That's why we're going audio verite. That's why we're going... That's why, you know, you're with me at the uh, espresso machine trying to get a... Well, I can't do coffee. It makes my stomach upset. I figure that's enough. Shoot, if that doesn't do it. Yeah, so... As we have the change... In, you know, it, they were very successful. Very successful. So we're going to go to the chair. Yeah, I'm going to the chair. I'm actually... I'm heading there right now. No, I'm not tied down. As far as the night... It's just tempestuous, kind of changing of the seasons, cloud blanketing, abnormally cold, wintry, rain, sleet, snow on the mountains. Uh, yeah, it can freeze, you know, it, uh, it can freeze this time of year, but anyway, I just pray right now. In Jesus' name, regarding the spiritual warfare, light in the darkness, flaunt it, go forth. And here's the word I got. I'm sorry. I, be a light unto all those suffering, be a life raft. To those who are drowning. More today than ever before. Show them the power of the Spirit of God. It just trounces whatever they're up to the last couple of days. And it's, it looks like it's going to go on all week. So, uh, yeah. Well, I've got people... And, you know, I'm on it. I mean, I was, you know, yesterday, it's funny, I was talking to Rich Keltner of Watchman Radio and DCP fame. And uh, we we're agreeing that the track that we put out was, he said he sent me a weird track and then I made it really weird. Because I can't stand it. Don't you understand? It's because it's warfare. It's war right now. It's not, oh, look at me, look at me. Oh, look, I can do a nice little song for you. Look, oh, look, I'm entertaining you with a nice little song. No, that's not it for me. I told you before, music where we come from, you know what I mean, and, and I'm assuming you come from the same place, is not used for, um, to, 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 like rock music today, to entertain people. <laughs> okay? It's just as much part of the prayer, and I, I dedicate this entire pod right now to, a, as a prayer. I did hit the explicit button in case I you know happen to need I have no apology for any um, cuss words I might have said back uh, you know over the, the last few months uh, it's been very therapeutic for me and it's been um, you know deconstructing this uh, this this ridiculous notion of uh, being good or it's that's actually irrelevant what it is is just if you if you're if you're with it or not you know what I mean that's the thing. It really just comes down to, are you with it rather than externalities, right? So externalities be damned. So I've, to diminish myself, I might use a cuss word also because it's, it's, it's the eloquent word to use at the moment. I can't think of a context now, today. But uh, you see, there, there are people that are conditioned. They, oh, I hear that. It can't be of God. And that's exactly the response I want. That's exactly it. Some people think that I thrive on um, uh, negative, uh, on criticism and things. So well, I don't. Uh, it's just that the, the, the cuss word demasks them, some of them. 
It's just like when they, you know, when people, you know, I have a powerful kind of thing going on here with, especially today with this. Well, no, we're we're slaying dragons today. We're we're we're. <laughs> this is this is um, not for the faint of heart. I well, look. Let me explain what I mean by that before we go on any further. But I'm I'm having to uh, you know to be confident here. So I hope you don't con- confuse that with arrogance. It's, it's, I assure you, it's not arrogance. But I am going to go into battle confidently, as I ought to, because I'm not here to waste time or fool around. Okay, I'm not here to waste your time either. I don't. I, you haven't seen me the last few days because I was, um, you know, in a knockdown, drag out battle, and it, it, it could not be articulated on the air, so it didn't happen. It kind of came to a, uh, I would say, to a crescendo tonight. But yeah, it's it's on, and 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 you know, my personal. I'm of course assuming that my personal embattlement right now is the same you you're experiencing. And I'm getting that from feedback from, you know, emailers and people that, well, a lot of the people that I know out there look a bit traumatized. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm just here to, yeah, yeah, the, this podcast will snap you out of that trauma and yesterday, okay? If it hasn't already. <laughs> yes, we're not fooling around with, with, with uh, you know, if, if this was liquor, um, it'd be... You know, it would be uh, un- undra- you, you know, one one drop. It would be nitroglycerin. You know, uh, it, it's just that's where we have to be because the forces of darkness have never been greater right now. They're, they're they've amassed because the forces of light have never been greater. You see, the 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 other side of our side, <laughs> yes, the side you you the light, yes, well, never been stronger. Never been stronger than right now. Never been more opposition than right now. So we got two choices, uh, gang, you know. Coach Zeff here, we got two choices. One, you can lay down on, on the ground and scream for your mother. Okay, I'll go run home to mommy. Okay, you want to do that? Go right ahead. And look over your shoulder the rest of your life. Two, you, you can dig in. That's what we got to do. That's what I'm doing. I got to dig in. I don't have any mommy to run home to. My mommy is dead. And any surrogate mommies out there, you know, it doesn't work. You know, it can be in the form of male or female. Someone to complain to or commiserate with. Not going to work. We can't, we can't minister to each We can't be mommies to each other right now. You go see your mommy. Go see your mother after this is over. Bring her a nice bouquet. All right? Hey, look. You signed up for this. You signed up for it, man. You signed up for it. Obviously, my, my lamenting about why am I here and all that, that got me nowhere. That's you know, crying, you know, running home to mommy right there. I cannot afford to do that today. We, I cannot afford to blink right now. This is the kind of stuff that just uh, takes people out, okay? Like you just, you know what I mean? So I'm kind of like, well, I go, Lord, I, I just want to do what you want me to do. I want to, okay, you want, you want, you, you want him, he wants a battle. It's a battle. He wants warriors in battle. Not people lamenting that, gee, I wish it wasn't like this. It is like this. You are right there. We are right here. There is no going back. We're going to have to, you know, toughen up right now. We've been through all the laments, all the suicide and everything, and I feel just as suicidal as anybody else. And, you know, from time to time, there's no room for that right now. You can be suicidal after this is over, Okay. After this is over, if you want to indulge yourself, uh, I have plenty. I've, I've been days away from the microphone because of the fact that I've been indulging myself. Going down that path of negative thoughts, which were not my own. Uh, I mean, a whole bunch of my head on fire, my head on fire, my head on fire. 
And I realized, God, once I get into that studio, you can just forget about it. I will produce the most intense music ever produced on this planet. The most, bar none. And because uh, I just feel it, it's some, something's happening. And it's no, it, it don't, it's not going to be linear. It's not going to be like paint by the numbers, a little ducky or a horsey that people can understand. Sorry, going to leave you people in the dust. I have to do something that has to do with warfare. It's got to do from with spirit. It has to do with a whole other way of life that is near on this, in this plane, in this thing we're in right now. Because it has to be an aid to this battle. And I, I'm promising to bring that battle in a musical format. Because that's what we do when we're not here being humans. You see what I mean? It's used as, sound is used as a weapon. And as a, create, and a creation device as well. I know this is sounding a little bit sci-fi-ish, but I mean, it's just, I don't have any other language to put it in. So I apologize for the cliche, but... Uh, Right now, what I see in the spirit is this. There's a physical manifestation of this spiritual battle going on with, you know, with, as usual, with the May Day, the riots, the, the, the whole anti-Trump fervor, which, you know, who called it? Who loves you, baby? Yeah, right here, right here. Uh, yeah, it was called right here, way in advance of the actual thing happening. And then it confirmed uh, you know, no, I'm not putting out a shingle and I'm not, I don't take any money from people and I don't, you know, it's just, it's just a fact, that's all. But what I mean, why that's important is because there are huge effigies now of someone who isn't even a, uh, uh, who isn't even a, isn't even the, a nominee to run and not even, uh, the candidate yet. And there are huge effigies, uh, giant amounts of money being spent some federal dollars being spent to stop this Trump guy. <laughs> and now they're getting violent and threatening to run cars over people and uh, smashing um, police cars and lighting fires, uh, all of which, of course, there's no prosecution whatsoever to any, to, you know, there is no consequence. If they, I, they could, right now they could take a car and murder 50 people and just run them down outside a Trump rally, and it would be fine, okay? It would be fine. We just can't, you know, the couple people might be prosecuted, but basically it would just be let go again. So this, you know, this is, well, they want you to fear for your very lives so that you are, you know, again, so you, you, so you, 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 you piss yourself and call for mommy, you know, and mommy is the government to help you. But... The, the, the precedent for all this, the, that what precedes this, is the greatest spiritual battle in history being played out right now. You know what, when I call it here, it, 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 it's, it's on, okay? It's on, it's game on here. It's, I'm not doing this as a game. There's no, there's no benefit for me to say this or even, there's no, I have, get no benefit for even showing up here. There is no, I'm doing it for, for the good because God wants me to, because that's what we're supposed to be doing what God wants us to do. So I'm, doing, I'm showing up. And then when I do speak, I'm going to call it what it is. And months from now, you'll recognize that it was what was said hit the bullseye. It's a, it, th this, this, this whole, um, you know, these riots and everything for someone that's not even the candidate and this whole thing that I've, I've seen now with Glenn Beck putting Cheetos on his face and, uh, and then Ted Cruz sleeping with Carly Fiorina. I, um, I felt so dirty yesterday from, from, and I realized, oh my God, this is just, this is it, we are in this. No, I know these various characters are playing out what is the spiritual battle. I'm mentioning them because it, 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 this is all about something going on in the spiritual realm. Do you understand? Well, if it goes unchecked, it will kill you. It will make you too depressed to do anything, and you're basically going to be sidelined and derelict, maybe for the rest of your life if you don't stand up to it right now. It's a little bit slightly important. It's like, this is a wake-up call. This is not some joke. 
This is like if you don't get your feet planted in this thing right now, you're going to be taken out. You know, that means in the spirit, and that means that, you know, that you become a derelict. Uh, they used to call that during the war, like in World War I and World War II, they call that being shell-shocked. We now call it today PTSD. When you have PTSD, you're, you're sidelined, you're ineffective. I'm not trying to be mean here. I've had plenty of that myself, but I mean, at some point, you're going to have to pivot and plant. You know, just like in, in, in football. You're going to have to plant your, your feet there if you're, if you're defense. And, uh, you know, when that runner comes through the line, if you're a linebacker or something, you've got you to plant yourself there and then stick him with your helmet in the numbers and drive him on his back. You know, you've got to take him out. <sighs> I can just imagine people tuning into this at, at this hour and then... And, and, and this ranting, this, 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 this almost, you know, hyperbolic uh, uh, rant, you know, suddenly in the middle of the, in the wee hours of the, the well, I told you this, this 2.30 mountain time, this is when it happened. This, it, I'm up here now just like I was yesterday because it's on, they're doing it. They're going all week. In fact, they're, they're, they're scheduled, no, they used to do like having rituals, you know, the May Day, uh, you know, night before, then Halloween or different, you know, the summer solstice, you know. How about right now it's every freaking day? Permanently. Until this thing is resolved. Never seen anything like it on earth. But that's what I'm picking up on. And I, I see now, Lord, I see now, I see what it is. Oh, my, it's not for the faint of heart. You guys, the Lord will give you tremendous strength right now. He, just feel it right now. Just see right now. Tremendous strength, the strength of a billion suns. You can walk through flames of fire. You are eternal. You are the light. You are the life raft. It's just the thing that has to flip in our, in our minds and in our, in our spirit. It's got to flip, flip that switch. That switch has to be flipped right now. There's no other place it could be flipped. I guess it's the Zeph report, the obscure little, you know, bizarre Zeph report. It's got that switch has to be flipped right now. When you're in a war situation, you don't, you can't, you don't sit and contemplate anything. You just go, right? That switch has to be flipped right now in your head. Boom. Got to make your mind up. Are you in this thing? I pray for your children, Lord, to expand in consciousness to an infinite degree and to accept your call, Lord, into battle in Jesus' name. May they be brave. May they be completely healed right now today of whatever afflicted them because the wounded cannot be warriors. Let those wounds be of no effect in Jesus' name right now. Hallelujah. All the legalists, clear them from the path, Lord, in Jesus' name. Clear them from the path. Fake warriors, not needed. May they save the nation, the world, the globe, the universe. May they understand that we are in battle and it's to the finish. In Jesus' name, that is a sure word. There is no other option. You're going to have to pivot and plant your feet. You can go home to mommy afterwards, but I mean, we've got to move forward now. Uh, you want me to set, ring the alarm? Is that what you want? You want the alarm? Do you need me to ring the alarm? It's, you know, a five alarm fire. You need that?
We approach the end of the age. A time when all will be revealed. shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways on their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone you will tread on the lion and the adder the young lion and the serpent you will trample on their foot because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him. Because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and know him my salvation. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, and no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you, to guard you in all your ways. Okay, well, well you know, we're back. I, uh, I had to play that because... Uh, That's the right thing for you to hear, to hear Psalm 91, uh, to take that protection as a guarantee of God's word that he's not only looking out for you, but has sent holy angels concerning you in all your affairs and all your things that you're doing. You have this protection, okay? Um, you, you've got this... Uh, uh, You've got this this protection. You've got this um, 
promise of the Lord, you know. You, we look up and see the recompense of the wicked, but wickedness is, 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 is thriving in a way that it hasn't before. So the war is on. They are very serious, okay? It, it doesn't take much to see in the physical realm the forces of darkness at work and the people that are involved in those forces of darkness who are manifesting. Uh, whether you, you want to take <clears throat> this, the, what you may call a, the circus of politics, no. <clears throat> you see, <clears throat> what's happened here is politics will never be the way it was again because it's been destroyed. Next. It's been nuked. Whatever it was before, there's no going back. That's the point of the political thing that you're seeing. An effigy for someone who's running in primaries to maybe be the nominee with all parties against him and with countries, whole countries against him and people willing now to kill people and destroy property uh, because someone says they, you know, and, and again, I, I told you, this is, and this is what's good about America. You tell people to vote a certain way, you threaten that you're going to hurt them or kill them, you're going to destroy them if they, if they look at uh, one nominee or another. What people are going to do is they're going to go run to that nominee. They're going to, they're going to rebel against that. They're not going to be intimidated. Go ahead and burn down all the cities in America if you like. Burn it all down and burn yourselves down, you idiots. Go ahead. But it won't change. People are going to do what they're going to do. Now, the deeper, the deeper issue here is that we are embattled in a spiritual battle, being manifested in a physical realm. Unlike any other time, it's not like, you know, the time of riots and, that we've seen or the Ferguson riots or the, you know, Baltimore or any of that stuff. It's, this is a whole other thing. And um, this is, if you like, this is a, a, a form of World War III, but this is Luciferianism versus, you know, the, the kingdom of God. And the reason that there's an intense battle is because the time's up. The light is streaming in. The pendulum is going the other way. The people are desperate. They're going insane. Let them. Now, let me just give you some practical advice. Let them have their, their stupid folly and their stupid riots and their stupid activism, you know, b putting effigies of Donald Trump that are 15, you know, 30 feet high and, and spending tons of money doing all that. Let them recognize that it's a symbol of something deeper. And what I said is that the... Uh, this is just like in Mel Gibson's movie Apocalypto, <clears throat> where you saw the uh, the Mayan become very decadent, and then they were the, the basically they were cutting you know hearts out, killing virgins one every like five minutes because they they just couldn't get a blessing no matter how many people they kept killing. You know it was a belief that human sacrifice gives the blessing of the gods, right? You got to shed blood, right? Well, I mean, we've suppressed that here, but everywhere on earth it's understood that that's the way the people have been and that's the, the Lord Jesus is the only way out of that sort of thing, right? We all, we all understand that, so I'm going to just cut to the next thing. Um, so we're in that period of apocalypto, in that decadent period where they start sacrificing a virgin every five minutes because they're desperate. And so they have vowed to do their satanic rituals and this is inside baseball, okay? To do their satanic rituals on a daily basis. Daily. And they're empowering all their people and deputizing all their... You understand there's a satanic police force, right? That is watching you 24-7. It's called your co-workers. People all around you are the eyes and ears of Satan. Okay? If they're hooked up then they become a conduit, right? They're, they're just like a smartphone when they're listening in. So they've deputized all these people, given them power so they can use their minds. I'm, I'm telling you, the, you know, better listen. Better get it here in one shot and then go out in your life. They can, with their minds, control you. I hope you understand that, that the thoughts you're thinking now probably aren't even your own. And they've been given this power very recently to combat this light, the true light, 
John 1, the true light, okay? Get into your scripture, the true light. We can do that right now. I'll, I'll just remind us right now. I'll just remind us right now. I will just remind us right now. And I know that, um, well, this is what you pay me the big bucks for, right? We're going to go to the rudimentary. This is written by angelic forces, okay? I know it's attributed to John, but it's written by uh, angelic forces, okay? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him, not anything that was made. I'm sorry. Without him, not anything made that was made. It's kind of strange language, but it means that without him, nothing would be made. Okay, I can... No, I understand, but this is what I've got right now. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Okay? There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. In other words, that is the creator, the true light. That is Jesus, the true light. He is, his, it's revealed through the scriptures that he is God, the true light. Before Abraham was, I am. Before creation was, I am. Right? In the beginning was the word, which is sound. And the light is the, if you like, the light is the sound, the frequency that is sped up. That then creates or gives energy to the creation. To sustain the creation. To sustain the heartbeat, the breath, to sustain life, but life itself comprehends it not. That the darkness is necessary for the creative process, for the light to work in the darkness and create out of nothing. And now I'm, not, I'm going to let it just be right there. I'm just going to let that lie right there. I'm just going to let that sit right there. You don't have to figure it out intellectually. Just let that soak in. And while you're doing that, recognize, and I've seen, the, what's the danger? I have seen people lose it and lose their way. Already, many of them just like bugs on the windshield. Bam, another one bites the dust. Another one, another one, another one. Splat, splat, splat. And uh, it's because they have their own ideas about things. They have their own prefigured uh, understanding about things. I have people, you know, uh, talking to me every day. They don't believe in anything in the spirit. They believe in their knowledge. And they're always browbeating everyone to believe this way or say the name that way or do this or do that. They're not open to direct revelation or to a leading of the spirit because they've already figured it all out. They wouldn't know what time we're in. They just react and say, well, this is the world we live in. They react and say, okay, well, you see, this is the Illuminati. Or they react and say, well, you see, this is already the, the, con the thing of, with mankind. You know, and, and it's like, yes, but where are you right now? It's moving now. Where are you? Hello, are you alive? Are you alive? And it's, wake up, be alive. Be alive. Be sensitive to the moving of the spirit. Who cares what your knowledge is? Who cares what your book learning is? Who cares what you figured out about the world? Nobody cares. And that's why you can't get an audience because people don't care. What, what they care about is what's going on. What's going on? What's going on in the spirit? What's going on? 
We can all say we've, everybody, including me, has their pet theories on things, and we can go through that and use it. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm saying if something's moving, would you please look at it? Stop what you're doing. Stop with your own understanding. Stop. You can't figure this out. So stop. Oh, God. Lord, give me strength. You can't figure it out. When it starts moving, you got to be ready to go. You know, that's why we need prophets. But we don't have any. So we're just going to have to, you're going to have to put up with me. I don't call myself a prophet, but you're going to have to, this, this is maybe the next best thing. You're just going to have to put up with it. We, we don't have the gear here, liking it to a sports team. Sorry, we don't have the gear. Sorry, you know, it got squandered. Sorry, there's no prophets here because they were squandered. But that's what prophets are for, to keep the troops going forward, right? To be the visionary, to, to tell us what's up around that corner. What's God doing right now in the spirit? That's what we want to know, not some arcane knowledge about the, the universe and how it works. You know, keep the Saturn people out of here. They're dead in the spirit anyway. Sorry to put it like that, but they are. Well, they, all these people, you know, what we've been conditioned to do is when stuff starts moving, we react as if it, it, as with our old knowledge. You know, applying it to trying to under... You, you, if you do that with this, you're going to flip out. You're going to go insane. You'll become the next Glenn Beck. Don't do that. You just got to see what's going on. Now, I told you, this, this when the, well, the powers have been increasing on the dark side to where they can control your mind, you see. The reason I'm yelling is because I'm trying to kick out all the cobwebs here. There's no more fooling around here. We got to get, I mean, we're a, a roughshod, unprepared group of people that needs to get up to speed and yesterday, okay? And it, it's partially my fault. I was just in the last few days, in, in, a, in a way, instead of, you know, being any kind of leader, I was living in my own little cowardly mess of, of, of just, I'm just completely taken over by the, by the dark side. Completely taken over by evil thoughts and bad thoughts and, you know, just, just, just worry and doubt and pain and suffering. And I just can't believe it. No, man. That means that I lose. I, I, that means I failed. It's not okay to be sidelined. It's not okay. So right now, because what's coming up is so much worse than the way it's been the last, say, whatever, few years of your life and our lives, is so much worse that you just got to strap in right now. You got to make that decision. You commit, commit to it. Because otherwise, you're going to get your ass so kicked, it's, it's, you'll be just going, you know, just like a shell-shocked war victim coming back from the war and completely insane, you know, completely lost. You, the, the, the difference between that man and you is, is because you're going to, you, you, here's what you're going to do. Here's what we are going to do. And when I say you, I also mean me, but sometimes people take that like I'm talking to them personally. Don't, don't take it like that. What we have to do is we're going to have to get in the Word of God. Like, make it a ritual. You know, every day just agree that you're going to be in the Word, 15 minutes, whatever, to strengthen up for the battle. That's, you're just going to have to be in there. We're going to have to be in prayer every day. We have 20 on 20. Uh, sorry, but it's got to be a daily thing now. Uh, they're going 24-7 around the clock. They're going around controlling people, gathering people, putting these zombies on the streets, and then they're having them kill people. That's the next step. It's, 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 yes, there's a lot of blood coming. There's a lot of blood, a lot of cities being burned down to the ground, all kinds of stuff. They will stop at nothing to get their way, even if it means burning the whole place down. But what they're promoting is Luciferianism, Satanism, satanic ritual abuse. You want to see that? You want that to be legal? The destruction of children. 
right now a case can be made to destroy the United States to stop the, the predators destroying the children in the classroom alone. Just that one issue. Just that one issue. <clears throat> anyway, I'm here because they're going 24-7. So now I'm showing up. You know, I'm showing up. They're doing it right now. They're doing their ritual right while I'm speaking. They're doing it. Whether it's killing people, whatever they're doing, they're doing it right now. Everything ISIS does, by the way, is a satanic ritual. When they kill people, they do it publicly like that as a satanic ritual. The real satanic rituals are done in public. I hope you understand that. From time immemorial, they've always been done in public. You know, that's why they choose a cage to drown them in or a certain amount of beheading. They have costumes. They have cameras. It's a very elaborate ritual. Uh, the, you know, designed for the news media, for video, to torture people, to traumatize them, to then get control of their minds so they can implant ideas. This is the... If you want to call it the final spiritual battle, this is the final spiritual battle on the docket. And there's going to be a lot of victims, a lot of victims, okay? There are people. I know this is unfolding right now. This is coming out of the spirit right now. This is like the equilibrium thing from months ago, right? And this is like part two. Uh, fortunately, and here's the good news. And there's a lot. The good news, number one, you're going to become a force of, of love, of light, of, of, of power, of spiritual power like an angel, okay? That's what you're going to have, that responsibility. That's what you're going to have. You know, you've got to commit to it and you'll receive that. Because otherwise you get, you'd be run over. Otherwise you'd be, you'd be out. They have tremendous powers. You, you would be just clipped in a second. God does not make his people to be clipped in a second by a witch. He makes his people durable. Not saying that they don't round people up and they're martyrs and all that, yes, but he's not going to extinguish his people. At the very least, he wants a witness. He's not just going to let everyone get rolled and there's no one left. There's a small group of ragtag warriors that are enough to beat the entire world back. Meanwhile, yes, the killings do continue and all this stuff. But make no mistake, this whole battle that you're seeing right now, played out even in politics, is uh, against God and his anointed. It's Psalm 2. This is the Psalm 2 war right now. On steroids, in your face, in public. I don't care whether you take ISIS, politics, war, you know, any, any issue you like. It's, it's just, that's just a physical, it's just the, 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 the secondary manifestation of the primary uh, battle, right? There's no time to complain about gang stalking right now. I'm sorry. But the people that were victims of gang stalking, there's no time to be a victim. The Lord's giving you a gift right now. Take it and run with it. You know, I understand, you know, you, I understand, traumatized and all that. But right now, this is the time of your healing. You're coming into a healing right now. You're going to be able to stick it to the enemy right now. Okay? You, you, you know, there's an old pattern there, you know. They're coming at you, they're coming at you, they're coming through the woodwork, they're coming under the door, they're coming through the phone lines. I understand, they're coming through the beams, they're coming through outer space, they're coming through voice to skull, they're coming, they're coming, they're on you, they're all over you. Yes, that's why I'm here right now. They're all over me the last few days. In every which way you can imagine. Every which way you can imagine. Trying to tie the Z-man down. Trying to tie me down so I can't move. And I had to hell with that. To hell with that. The Lord is giving us this power that you don't have to go down when they in a mass against you, throwing ridiculously massive whammies on you and all that. You know, don't forget when you're talking gang stalking, you're talking physicality. How about the spiritual attacks on, on gang stalking victims that come before, prior to physical manifestations? So people showing up, people talking about you in the corner, you know, all that stuff. Prior to that, there's the spiritual. You get your ass kicked in the spirit, then secondarily you get that. 
You've got to win this battle primary in the spirit first. That secondary thing won't manifest. That's, hey, look, that's the way they roll. That's the way we have to roll. We can't go back. You can't just go around getting your ass kicked all day long and saying, oh, well, I didn't know. You just can't do that because, I, I mean, we're here talking about it right now. You just can't do that. Any, we can't, we, 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 we can't go back there. Whatever was before is destroyed, okay? Whatever view we had of the world, of whatever, it's gone. It's gone. It's, it's, the veil's been ripped right through. The, 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 the cover has come off the ball, okay? I mean, it's, it's on, you know? And as long as you have that attitude that it's on, okay? As long as you have that attitude that it's on, as long as you have that, that you're committed, okay? You're, 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 you're doubling down on it, right? You're committed now. Whatever this is, you're going to go through it, right? You're going to be a help, not a, not a, not, right? You're, you, because you have the power to do that, to help your fellow man now. Your fellow man is confused and lost it. He doesn't know what's going on. You do. It's a small group of people being kind of put into this thing, you know. Why? Uh, because God will not uh, let his people get rid So many Christians are victims. Oh, my God. They get their asses kicked every day and they think that's normal. Dad's taking you out, you know, you know, in the backyard, teaching you how to box a little bit. So when you go back to the playground, you're going to punch the bully in the nose. In the spiritual realm, in the spiritual battle. Not literally, because literally you don't know who's who and what's what, right? And that's going to remain that way. But where it needs to happen is the strength and power and confidence in the word of God, which is you've got the best manual in the world in terms of a prayer, a, a spiritual war prayer manual in the Bible. The best. I just played Psalm 91. Uh, it's not, you're not going to find anything better than that. Psalm 23, the Psalms, uh, you know, and then the stories of, 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 you know, even going, you know, going and praying and, and, and rereading the uh, the, the battle of, of David and Goliath or Daniel in the lion's den or anything you want, anything like that. I mean, this is the time of miracles. I told you, be given supernatural power, power that people are going to be frightened of. But the first power is that you've got to have, get your own mind back. The first thing, because everything about Satanism that you need to know is this. The main thing about Satanism, if you know nothing else about it and witchcraft, if you know nothing else about witchcraft, know this. It's all about mind. That's the whole deal. It's all about getting control of that mind. You know, uh, globally, if you will. No, I, I, look, I'm sorry for you flat earthers. I, I'm not, I don't have time to, to mess around with whether it's flat or round. I could care less right now. Right now, we're, we're, we're in the battle of our lives, uh, we're, and we're going to win. We're winning right now, this moment where we've won, because we've, we've decided that, you know, we've seen the progress we've made with uh, Human 2020. Just a little, once a month. Anyway, this is not a part-time occupation, folks. This is every single day from here on for the rest of your life, however long we have here. It doesn't look like we have very long anyway. So however much longer it goes here, the spiritual battle is on. And right now, they're doing their rituals 24-7. People are being consumed and going up in flames in their, whatever their thing is. I mean, you know, being consumed in their lust, being, you know, falling back into old patterns, old sin patterns, you know, doing the other guy in, stabbing people in the back. And all this stuff is, you know, going to be ramping up. So you got to be vigilant and prepared and ready to go. I'm just reporting on what's going on in the spirit, something you can't see. That's what you need me for. I wish there were a bunch more. I'll bet you anything... Govinda ends up confirming it. Mike and a few others out there, I'll bet you anything. I'll bet you anything. I'm not saying this in an idle way. I mean, I may be screaming and kind of out of control right now, but I'll bet you anything there'll be some calmer voices following mine and, and confirming that, yeah, you know, this thing is on. You know, like I say, I'm not here to play games. I don't want any attention toward me. And, uh, you know, I never direct it toward, because when people see me anyway, that's the first thing that hits them is you're just, you know, they're disappointed, right? Because the words come from like on high at times. Then you see me, just a man. It's like, ew. You know? <laughs> so you see, you don't need to see me. 
just understand this gift comes from above. You know, thank God it's not coming out of, you know, my flesh. And like I say, I, I go under the radar. I don't need attention. I don't need to be a narcissist. I don't need any of that. You know, I got plenty of problems besides that. But I can't afford to have problems right now. See, the problems that have been plaguing me, they've kept me off the air. And I was talking to Rich Keltner. This is what I was going to was starting to tell you earlier. Talking to Rich Keltner. And he said, I said, you know what's going on is the message of getting off the air that we should shut down these radio shows. He goes, I was getting the same message about Watchmen Radio that I should shut down. I said, I said to Rich, I said, where do you think that voice is coming from? And I haven't even been here the last few days. And it was like every day and then all of a sudden out. And I realized, ah, and what was happening during that time that I've been away? Ass whooping the whole time. You know, just, I could see it in, you know, in, in the spiritual realm. I could see it with the witchcraft getting control. You know, thoughts not my own. I could see it. Terrible oppression, right? A feeling like, gosh, everything... I got to do better than this. But see, there's no frame of reference for better than this, okay? Because this is not been before. This is uh, what was before is gone. There is no going back to anything or uh, I got to get myself together. Compared to what? I got to improve myself. Compared to what? You didn't exist five minutes ago. None of this did. New ball game. The good news is, besides this is for all the marbles, this is the epic battle of all time. The epic battle. Just consider yourselves all conscripted in the, into, the, into the army of angelic warriors, okay? You might even meet some of these angels around, you know what I mean? Because you, you're shoulder to shoulder with them right now. The forces of light, that's right. Um... Uh, Somebody just said the Joel II army or whatever, you know, sure, whatever, you know, God's army, the Joel II army. Uh, yes, uh, all the gifts of uh, Joel 243 pouring out of all flesh. Lord's pouring out on his people right now. So this is on. I don't know whether it was on in another prior time. I just know this is on. And I know that it's, it's no longer um, nice little rituals on certain unholy days. <laughs> uh, pip, 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 pip. And all that tradition, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that's all gone now. <laughs> it's every day, all day. A virgin every five minutes, please. Thank you. Cut their heart out and eat it. Every five minutes, boom, 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 boom. They're falling like, like boom. They, got, they can't even, they have to have lots and lots of bodies to kill, but they don't want it on the news media. So they got, right? Because they're going to sacrifice people in, in droves and mass. Because that just like the sacrifices before the Mayan civilization went kaput. Only they do it in, you know, with accidents and they make it look like it's, you know, just normal and natural. So people don't, so, the, you know, the, the cows don't get upset and try to bolt through the fence. And make no mistake, the, the mass of people out there right now are just cattle. And they ain't going to be waking up. Not like this. What I'm talking about is, is, is beyond waking up. They're not going to be involved. But, I mean, they're still worth saving. You know what I mean? It's, you know, you don't, you, right? I hate to see people suffering, don't you? You know, even if they're awake or not awake or they believe in Disneyland, I don't care what they believe in. I mean, I still don't want to see them suffer, right? Well, one of the problems we have here is that people have given consent to the dragon, damn it. In order to have their life, in order to live, in order to you know, not be harassed and whatever. And that's a problem right now. Because it means that their minds are under the control of that central control tower. And, you know, and all the police deputies are the witches, male and female, that are surrounding us all. And they become the eyes and ears of that all-seeing eye, if you like, I'm mixing all my metaphors. Uh, that that and then and action is immediate when they take immediate action. So you need to be up up on that without being paranoid. There's no need to be paranoid or fearful about anything. You've got the victory. You've got you know Jesus Christ. You've got the victory. He is the Lamb. 
the, the, the lamb slain at the foundation of the world. In other words, the basis of all things, the axis of all creation. You have that in your heart. You are that. You are Christ. You are uh, Messiah. You are the word. You are the one. And there is no other. And the stronger you align with that idea and that truth and that reality, the true light, you know, the, 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 the more joyful. I mean, oh, the other part of the words, the Lord's going to is, is, is giving us right now massive joy. Even though I'm screaming like a, a, a football coach who's down at halftime and, and it looks like it's, it's, if, 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 he, if I'm telling you, if you guys don't change right now, you're going you're, you're gonna to be the biggest loss of, this, of, 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 of the entire history of football. I don't know why I'm using the football. Maybe because Patrick is there in the chat room. I'm, I'm using football metaphors. Um, I used to like football. I thought it was a great metaphor for the, the battles we have in life. I like boxing too. You know, I, the, 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 the left has tried to make all that uh, I- illegal. You know, they, they don't want, um, you know, men to be men or women to be women or, you know, people to be people or children to be disciplined and, and to given moral, moral teaching. They don't want any of that. So, and they want to, they want to change all that by, by changing laws. Now they have their goons out there protesting Trump in the name of, you know, Mexico or whatever. It's, but it's all this coming from the same spirit. Satan. Or if you like, the satanic kingdom, the satanic network, or let's take the name Satan out of it. The network, the kingdom, you know, the, 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 the realm of the flesh, the realm of the, of the physical world, if you will, central command. And there being, you know, and so one manifestation is, you know, the, the, the fake riots, the fake demonstrations. And, but unfortunately, real people get hurt, real people get killed. I don't want to see that, but unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. It's going to happen. I'm not going to say, no, no, I'm not going to say uh, peace and safety and sudden destruction comes. So, sorry, sudden destruction is here. People are going to get killed. And then, they, then what they do is then they blame Trump for all of it, uh, even though he's just running as, as to, to, to win an election and he's spoken his views. I'm sorry, he's responsible for any cop cars, cities being burned down, people being killed. It's all his fault. Uh, that's called mommy dearest. That's mommy dearest. In other words, uh, you know, whatever happens, it goes wrong. You get beaten with a coat hanger, right? It's always your fault. That's the spirit of that. That's the spirit of the abuser. When you see that spirit, know the source of that psychopath spirit. Uh, I, I'm always amazed when people try to, you know, ask the protesters any questions and they, and they uh, 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 you know, and they look like they have a 40, 45 IQ. They, that's because their mind is, are, their brains, their, the, they have no life of their own. They are under control. They are sock puppets in mass. And when you see that many of them at one time, it's very unnatural, right? It's not like they're protesting the president of the United States. No, the protest has to do with the spiritual, the epic battle that's on right now. This is for all the marbles. And the, the political manifestation is just yet a shard of this bigger, you know, broken glass scenario. It's one piece of it. But I am prior to it in the spirit right now. Warning you, but telling you the Lord is gifting you with extreme light, extreme joy, extreme power. Because you must, number one power, today what the power is being used for is to get your own mind back. To kick out, it's very powerful. Look, if you don't have this spiritual power right now, they will take your mind over. The, the, what, what, the program right now is to make everyone dread, dreading and fearful and upset and lost and falling back on old sin patterns. Is that what you want? That's not what I want. Any kind of lax right now, any, any, any kind of 
fear on you, on our parts right now will result in that in 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 basically be taken out because that's the world you know the world will just eat you up it will eat us alive you know i just just start with the litany of bad thoughts of how awful you are and let's just continue from there you're awful and look you've got this and then you're falling back on that you're slipping you're slipping uh you've got no future your children are, are you know I, mean, I could go on you know once you start down that path of fear, there's really no end to it. You know, so you just have to make your mind up that you're going to be a, a, a real person, a sovereign individual, a person that has your, you know, his own, her own thoughts, her own life, and asking the Lord to direct that life. And the, the Lord's not going to let you be rolled, Okay. You have the power to, you know, forge a path as the Lord directs, <clears throat> as the Lord wills it. You know, but but make no mistake. I mean, they're they're going for all, they're they're trying to make everyone fearful, put everyone in a cage, make everyone, you know, the whole political correct thing, all that stuff to shame people from even uh, being able to show their faces, to make every to make America a nation of shut-ins while they take over, and uh, you know, turn it into a totalitarian hellhole. You know, that's not what we want. We have, to, we have to be individual. We have to have our own minds. A strong faith in the Lord, being strong in the word of God, and then noticing that you're getting powers now you never had. Power that's not, not like witchy, witchy power. It's just, it's, it's, it's like, like, it's this kind of power, okay? The ship is sinking, and you're doing everything you can to, uh, you know, to get the women and children to safety and you're, and, and, you, you know, trying to cheer up those people that are crying and upset because they're going to die. And there you are being a light in that darkness. I know that's, that's a hard thing to have, but would you rather be the one crying or would you rather be the one ministering? Well, you got to make your mind up. You could cry from here to your death if you like. But I, I say light in the darkness, not, not darkness in the darkness. Joy in the time of sorrow. And that's the switch that's coming right now. If you want it. You know, the Lord calls us, you know, many are called, few are chosen. But I mean, the people that are in the sound of my voice that, that listen to this podcast, you're a special group of people in the sense that you're very peculiar. No, the mainstream doesn't listen in here. They wouldn't understand it anyway. They would just think I'm crazy and I need, you know. Uh, a shrink or something. They they would you know they they they, they wouldn't even know what to think about it. Uh, well, I mean you know it's like what are you gonna do? Fight the whole world? No, no, we don't fight the, anybody. We just we just what we are is we are you know basically the living manifestation of the word of God and the power of God in the flesh moving through this thing. You know, called for a time such as this. And, you know, we could either be positive, you know, in other words, commit that we're going to go through this thing or go a running, you know, um, retreat to our bedrooms with our sorrows and try to bury our heads while our, our thoughts attack us like piranhas till we're finally just, just gone. And make no mistake, those piranhas are witchcraft. It's, it's a collective global witchcraft, if you will. That, that, that is, is like a constant, or if you like to put it in a technological term, it's a constant beam of negativity on each person so that all you are consumed by are negative thoughts and all that. It's all technological and scientific. Scientific and technological. Basically, let me tell you what the end game is. The end game is to have you retreat, <clears throat> be quiet, uh, don't, don't show any strength, you know, be weak, retreat, quiet, and beg for crumbs and hide in your hovels and become shut-ins and learn to be obedient and do what you're told. That's the beam weapon right now. Don't make waves. Keep, and they'll keep getting more outrageous. I mean, you know, you thought the tranny bathroom or something. They'll, they'll keep going for more and more and more. I mean, they want your children, for example. Are you okay with that? I didn't think so. Well, then, you know, whatever they're protesting against or railing against, 
is good. But uh, so I've decided, you know, me, whatever this is, I, I've got to dig in. I got to plant my feet. I'm not going backwards. I got to I got to decide right now that look, back to my football metaphor. I got to decide right now if I'm on defense, the guy's coming through the line with the ball. I'm going to stick him. I'm going to stop him uh, even before the line of scrimmage. I'm going to stop him. and I'm going to put him on his back and that's where he's going to stay. I'm not going to run the other way. I got to. I, I got to decide that I'm in this thing. I'm in it to win it. For the Lord, Lord direct us, and I just feel the Lord is directing us right now. I like the. I, I do need extra power. You know, I, I do like being the light in the darkness, and I'm I'm willing to you know take that on. But that means if I decide to take that on, no blinking, no going off and having a good cry. None of that. You can cry when it's over. It's just beginning. Hey, what do you think the Bible is doing? It was, it was predicting all this. You know? Well, you know, humanity has always had the same option, you know, to cut and run, to be a coward, or to stand up for something. And possibly be martyred, you know. I mean, that's that's a possibility. But uh, how would you rather die, a coward, or standing on some some something you believe is right? You know, having a righteous death. I think, you know, I, I hate the whole idea of life and death. Anyway, you know, I mean, this whole this whole idea we have of the good and bad, up and down, light and down. You know, this. I'm not sure I'm really in agreement with this whole thing, but this is what we've got. So I've got to get my head into agreement with it that, you know, I'm here. This is it. It's not going to change. I got to go for it. The Lord's offering a gift right now. He's pouring, offering to pour on the people that he's conscripting into his army, if you will, to use another metaphor. He's pouring out insane spiritual gifts on us right now so we can make it through. Otherwise, they would just kick our butt. Otherwise, today, for example, after all the, the, the last two days of rituals, They'll just uh, smash you into a million pieces. Mentally. It's all about mind. Remember? It's all about mind. The, the events come later, but it's about mind, you know. And it's, it's, you know, you get out there and you're not seen as someone under their control, then they, they you know, they, they, they come at you like a, 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 a nest of hornets. And they, it does hurt. Well, you know, what? as soon as I got the word from the Lord today, as soon as I got the word, be the light in the darkness, okay, that was it. I'm going to make you, and that means you out there, the light in the darkness, rather than the one needing to, to, to have to be ministered by that light, you're going to be the light ministering. You know, it's a decision, you know, hey, you're being called in, you, you can refuse, I suppose. But I mean, this is it, and we're down, you know, it's like 42 zip. At the, here's my football at, at halftime, right? 42 zip. And, you know, the coach means in the locker room. We don't even have, uh, uh, all of us have the same, you know, color uniforms. And uh, everything is ripped and torn. And we're just going to have to cobble ourselves together and make do with what we've got. But we're getting help. The kind of help we're getting is so powerful that it makes this world a joke with all its rituals and witchcraft and all the other things going on. But yeah, usually it's like the day before May Day and then May Day itself and then the day after. There's all these, you know, this is the, it's a, like a high time of the pagans, right? It's the, the, they usually have human sacrifices and the maypole dancing. Didn't anyone ever see the Wicker Man? That was pretty accurate. The original Wicker Man from 1972. Um, you know, they have to lure a sacrifice there so they can have their sacrifice and put all their ducks and chickens and then have a human in the Wicker and then burn it to death. Right. And they have the, their whole pagan thing and, you know, sex with adults and children. It was all implicit in the movie. It was all laid out, you know, amazingly. So there's a lot of truth out there, but people just don't seem to believe it. Anyway, you, you, you people are a very peculiar group of people. So here's the thing about about you and the rest of the world. You're not like them and they're not like you and I'm not like them. And I've tried to be like them. I really have. 
but I, I like them well enough. I don't want to see anybody suffer. That's the thing. Uh, you know, and I have friends that are very worldly and, but they're like turning more and more to God right now. Cause they're, they're scared to death and God will not just abandon them. He loves them and he wants to bring them in. Now I'm tell- also bringing a message of love from the Lord. He loves all people. Well, I know there are tears, but I mean, you know, he is love, right? So it's like all creation. And doesn't want people to suffer either, but you see, we make that choice. We don't think we do, but we make that choice to suffer. And the Lord honors our free will. And we made the choice to have elections rigged. And we made the choice to uh, have the banksters rip us off. And we made the choice to go into it. To- We're making that cho- the choices every day. But right now, people are under control of the witchcraft, which is the, the power, the spiritual powers of the, of the earth, okay? To control their minds, to make them decide things that they would not ordinarily decide. And so God is raising up his people to combat that. Because the future belongs to the light, not the darkness. The pendulum is swinging the other way. Um, you know, the, the, the epic battle awaits before the pendulum gets all the way to the other side because these forces of darkness have awakened now. They realize their time is about up and they've gone insane. They realize the paradigm of the old consciousness is gone and the history is gone now. You know what I mean? The, you look back in your life right now, you can't, it's murky. It's almost like, did you really live that? It's like a dream, Right. Where it didn't used to be that way, did it? You look back on your life, and you, you know what I mean. It was like you 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 had a you had a history, you had a continuousness, right? And now now that sense of it's gotten a little bit foggy. It's not it's not quite as real as you as it used to be. That's right. We there is no repeating of history because there's the history is being erased, you know, showing that we're getting closer to eternity getting closer to multidimensionalism, getting closer to a whole different paradigm, a whole different thing. Well, people, you know, they they have these views of witches like they're these, you know, women with these broomsticks and weird outfits and, and, you know, sitting around a cauldron and all that doesn't work that. When I say that, uh, witchcraft, what I'm talking about is is day-to-day life of people. I'm talking about mental witchcraft, I suppose, more than anything, that is using energy, moving energy around with your mind to get control of people. But then these people who have those powers are then used by others that they don't see. They don't think they're being used, but the thoughts that they have are not their own. And it just goes like that from person to person until the whole thing is like invasion of the body snatchers. Everyone is like totally conformed to the world and, you know, is all, they're almost robotic. And their obedience and this, you know, blindly going down these pathways to destruction. And the Lord's raising up, you know, the, the opposite. And yeah, they're going nuts. I mean, never before in history have they really demonstrated against a guy who's simply a, 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 a possible candidate. They usually demonstrate against a prime minister or a president you know, a president of a corporation or something like that, right? But, you, you know, this, is, this, is, this shows a tremendous amount of fear for what's coming. And what, they, what that side doesn't really understand is what they're afraid of and what they can't figure out mentally. They can't figure this out in their mind. What they're afraid of is a change that's coming, a change that's underway. And they, they think it's, it's, it's Trump and they're, they're, they're being misled. It's not Trump. It's this overall cosmic change. And they're going to fight like hell to prevent that from happening. But it's like preventing the sun from being the sun. It's like preventing planets from continuing in orbit or whatever it is, you know. It's like preventing um, the, the tide from rising. It's like preventing Niagara Falls from going over the falls. It's, they're, they're, they're fighting a losing battle. In other words, they're... But, they're, they're energized like when you hit a hornet's nest with a baseball bat. They're, they're buzzing and energized and they're just going after whatever target they think. Now it's, they think it's Trump or they think it's this and that or whatever. But of course they're wrong every single time and in every demonstration and everything they think is wrong. Meaning, in, meaning inaccurate. 
When I say wrong, I mean inaccurate thinking, inaccurate assessment, inaccurate targeting, inaccurate. But they are all under control of a higher power, yes. But that power is just trying to cause the bedlam and division between all people, a scorched earth. If Satan's going out of here, he'll make sure that humanity just kills itself. So God's raising up his people. But make no mistake, we're at that stage, like in the, the movie Apocalypto, the Mel Gibson movie, where it's the, they're, 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 they're throwing bodies down that pyramid every two seconds, you know what I mean? It's, they're lined up around the block to be sacrificed, to try to appease the gods. But alas, no one's listening. You know, in other words, a change was afoot. The destruction of that civilization was afoot, and it was destroyed. And no amount of sacrifice or, or rituals or whatever they do, a black magic, a voodoo, hoodoo, this, that, the other thing, is, is going gonna, is gonna to change what's already been set in motion. All those powers and all those witchy spells and all those kind of things, all those things people do have no power whatsoever compared to the Lord God Almighty. None, none of them. They are as folly, a fool's game at best. Oh, I know. They're, they're, uh, the words I'm saying now will, will invite a backlash. Fine. Bring it. I'm prayed up. I'm relying on God to protect me completely. And you know what that means? That means neutralizing a threat before it even gets to me. I'm not going to be intimidated by the forces of darkness to not speak up when it comes to our people and to prayer, and to doing the right thing, to living a moral life, to doing, you know, to, to, to not cheating, lying, and stealing, and perversion and everything else, to make this, life, this whole thing a mockery of God. No, I'm, I'm standing on the opposite, that life is precious. That, um, you know, having a, uh, uh, a moral compass between people keeps people at peace with one another. To having a set of agreement on virtues and, on, and on, uh, on the rules of engagement, if you will. Okay, so that's right there. Cut it right there, okay? We cut, cut. No, there'll be more. That's it. Okay, that's the end of the spiritual. That, that's the, okay, that I've, just, I've just laid it all out. Okay, now I want to talk about, I'm going to shift foca, fo focus here. That's the end of the Rima. That was a Rima, okay? Can you receive that? Well, I'll go back and listen to it again then. But I mean, it's, it, I, yeah, you know, forgive me for ranting. I couldn't do anything else. It was just like this thing gripped me. It's like, you, 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 you got to, I had to lay that on you. We got to get in strong word of God mode. I know, I know, I know. Look, I talk to all of you out there, not all of you, but I talk to enough of you. So I understand how your, your, your troubles. I understand how embattled you are. I understand. But we just can't keep letting it kick our ass if, because the Lord has spoken today that he's not going to allow. He's, he says, come with me. Okay, dig in. Make your decision that you're in it, and I will pour out my... There's a kind of a... It's almost like a quid pro quo. You decide you're committed. You decide you're dug in. And then I will pour out my spirit on, on, on all your flesh. Of sure, of my own army, of my own gathering. Yes. But I'm not going to pour out my spirit on flesh that's undecided. And I suppose what the Lord's telling me is Christians who feel they are victims are not being gifted by the Lord. That's kind of an implicit in today's word. They're not being, it's almost like you've got to make that commitment, that decision. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's like a constant thing. It's a constant, constant decision. It's a constant vigilance. It's a constant thing. And then the Lord rewards those who, 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 are, who are all in. Look at the alternative. Second guessing ourselves. Worrying about our future, worrying about our friends, worrying about what people said. Let's right now, Lord, in Jesus' name, release everything people have said from us. 
Release us from everything people have said that we keep running over and over in our minds. Release us from all of the worries about what people are thinking, what they're doing, what we look like, whether we're accepted or not, whether we have a future, whether we don't, our children, everything else. Release us from all those worries, Lord, in Jesus' name. There is no worry in you, Father. It is just light and love and goodness. And if we hold fast to that, folks, we will inherit that because that is the kingdom of God. And the inheritance begins today. Okay, so that's the end of that transmission. I don't, well, now there's loose ends, but I mean, it, they, you know, it rolls. It, it continues over time. It's like a new thing today. Well... We just have to have that, like the courage General Patton had when he was, when they're strafing, you know, I don't know if you saw the movie with George C. Scott. What a great movie. Uh, but when the planes were strafing him, you know, and he was always kind of had a fear of being shot in, in the, you know, by a bullet. Weird, he'd be a general. So he goes, so he faces his fear. He walks out while the planes are strafing the, uh, the little area there that they're, they have their, their headquarters. Out in the desert, you know, you know, and he's, and he says, "Take a shot at me, right?" No, and the planes are going right over him, the bullets are going on to the left of him and the right of him. Pop, 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 pop. It's the planes going over, and he's firing at them with his, uh, with with his pistols. He's got a, a, a match set of uh, uh, mother of pearl inlaid um, handled pistols, and I think they're they were, if I'm not mistaken, they were they were forty fives, I think. And he would, well, I may be wrong on that. And he's shooting at the planes. <laughs> Everyone else is running for cover. You know, because he was afraid of that. What, why I'm using that as an example is that, that, yeah, there you go. He's out there and he's not only not having fear, he looks like he's having a good time. He looks like he's having a good time. He's not worrying about something hitting him or whatever or what the future would be without a general patent there. He's just out there shooting his pistols at planes that are strafing the whole place. Just having, enjoying himself as a, the happy warrior. The happy warrior. Let us be happy warriors. Suffice to say, ladies and gentlemen, we are in, and brothers and sisters, we are in a war. Can we please just accept, <laughs> accept the obvious? Can we start with that? We were born into a war zone. You know, if it, it, it doesn't matter, like, if, you know, people say, well, if, you know, if this is a rich nation, you have nothing to complain about. No one's complaining here. All we're doing, the far from it, the people that are complaining are the ones we minister to. No, no, we're celebrating life. We're joyous about the Lord. We're joyous about the light. We are ecstatic about everything. That's the gift. That's what the Lord wants you to be today. Ecstatic about everything. And if your mileage varies, I have a tip for us all. Get into the word. I don't care that we read about Noah's Ark. It doesn't matter. Just get in there. Make it a ritual. They're doing it. You do it. I'll do it. We'll do it. I may do a lot more scripture readings coming up for things that are inspiring because there's a lot of stuff that requires courage, you know. But once you got that courage, there's joy in the battle, right? There's, there's joy in the in the... You know, you decide, okay, you know, I'm going to quit lamenting about what it could have been. I mean, look at me. I just wrote this song, or the lyrics to the song. Rich wrote the, the music, but it was, uh, why did it have to be so bad, right? I played that for you, and, and it's out there. You know, you can listen to it. Um, uh, I can't be that person saying that. Why did it have to be so bad? I can't be that person saying that. I, that's a lament that I, yes, it just shows the kind of, I, I'm getting my butt kicked with thinking those kind of things. 
Yes, some people say that's a valid song. Why did it have to be so bad? But we don't want to think about that. In other words, we could have had a beautiful world here, but why did it have to be so bad? Here was a nice place to raise your children, but why did it have to be so bad? Here's all the, here's the potential to do anything you want, anything you can dream of with a little hard work and, 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 uh, and, and faith. You know what I mean? But, but it was all ruined by these other people. I mean, I don't want to live in that kind of consciousness, and I won't do it anymore. I was living like that, limping along from broadcast to broadcast. Then the Lord came and poured out this light on me, this spirit on me, this thing. And it's like, you don't have to live like that.